Once upon a time in the spring of 301 BCE, near Ipsus, present-day Sipson, a decisive battle took place. It was known as the Battle of Ipsus, and it marked the end of Alexander the Great's empire. The battle was fought between the successors of Alexander, who were vying for control of his vast empire. After Alexander's death in 323 BCE, his empire was left without a clear heir. This led to a power struggle among his top lieutenants, known as the Diatikai or successors. These ambitious leaders included Perdiccas, Eumenes, Lysimachus, Craterus, Demetrius, Ptolemy, Antipater, Antigonus, and Seleucus. They all desired to inherit Alexander's empire but lacked his vision and military genius. The war among the successors began in 316 BCE and was characterized by shifting alliances, cunning strategies, and bribery. Antigonus emerged as one of the most powerful contenders, controlling a significant portion of Alexander's former empire. Meanwhile, Seleucus, who had risen to the position of governor of Babylon, formed an alliance with Ptolemy in Egypt. They sought to challenge Antigonus's dominance. The Battle of Ipsus unfolded in 301 BCE when Seleucus and Lysimachus, allied with Cassander, confronted Antigonus and Demetrius in Asia Minor. Antigonus and his son commanded an army of 70,000 infantry, 10,000 heavy Macedonian cavalry, and around 75 war elephants. On the other side, Seleucus and Lysimachus led 64,000 infantry, 15,000 light cavalry, and had 400 war elephants, of which Seleucus deployed 100 in front and kept the rest in reserve. The battle commenced with both armies forming their infantry in phalanx formation, facing each other. The cavalry and war elephants stood on the flanks. Antigonus initiated the attack, with Demetrius leading the heavy cavalry. Their goal was to break the opposing cavalry and outflank the enemy. Initially, Antigonus's plan seemed successful, as Demetrius drove the enemy cavalry from the field and moved out of the battle. However, Seleucus deployed his reserve elephants to prevent Demetrius from returning. Whether this move was intentional or fortunate remains unclear. Meanwhile, on the other flank, the Seleucid light cavalry advanced and unleashed a barrage of arrows on Antigonus's phalanx, breaking its formation. Antigonus, determined to stand and fight, waited for his son's return. However, Antigonus was killed in the midst of the battle, and Demetrius did not make a comeback. Informed of the outcome, Demetrius managed to escape with a small contingent of troops back to Ephesus. The Battle of Ipsus marked the definitive end of Alexander's empire. Had Antigonus emerged victorious, the empire might have been reconstituted, posing a significant obstacle to Roman expansion. However, with Antigonus defeated, the Eastern Empire fragmented into several smaller states that were unable to withstand Rome's growing power. Thus, the Battle of Ipsus concluded an era, and the once mighty empire of Alexander the Great gave way to a divided and weakened landscape. The course of history took a different turn, leading to the rise of smaller states in the east and eventually paving the way for Roman dominance.